all of you today good morning all of you today we are discuss about the topic advanced web design of iwsms as we earlier we can we can discuss some points let us take quick revision we discuss earlier points like input type input new input types introducing html file these are the few new input types are color number date email month year mail file telephone number search date time week search then next point is input restrictions the few re input restrictions can be used for validation purpose these are disable max me pattern read only required auto complete auto focus height and width and multiple these are attributes or input instructions now some other use attributes of input tags are id and class the first is id and second is class the id attribute this is used to identify the html element uniquely this is used to identify the html element uniquely to the document object model and the next is the class this is attribute can be used to apply css style this attribute can be used to apply css style to the individual input element css style css means cascading style sheets now we will see that the example of the input type html file example of an input tag okay the first line shows doc type html the first line is doc type html this line shows it 
it declares or it defines this a document is an html file document this line shows the document is an html file document the next tag is html this is a basic structure of html this is the basic structure of a html the next tag is html the html is the basic root element of an html page it is the root element of an html page the next is a head the head element contains meta information about the html page head tag contains the meta information about the html page then the title tag are enclosed within the head section here i am giving this title forms in html file close the title tag and next close head tag the next line is a body tag the body element defines the documents body and the body body element defines the documents body and it container and is a container for all the visible contents such as headings paragraphs images hyperlinks tables lists etc the h1 then next is a form tag you can use here form tag for create a form here name input tag equal to text text is a control of sorry input is a tag type of a attribute of input tag and text is a control of that tag then here auto complete is a attribute you can use the auto complete attribute
the contact input we have to display name by using type is the attribute of a input tag then text is a control the text displays one line one line text in the on the web page then autocomplete is a attribute then next is the email for email tag equal to email here we use the email new email tag email input tag or value of a input tag is equal to email here name is also attribute of that tag name is also equal to email here used to break a line we are tag means break a line if user you want to go into next new line then next is a date of date of inspection date of inspection colon here you want to use we have to use the date input tag date input tag and name is the attribute name is equal to birthday then next line here we have to use office tag office tag then we have to use for office tag the input tag is a tag the input tag tag input tag can be used to display or entry a tag the name is also attribute of that tag name is equal to user tag we have to use here break a line then we have to use number of years completed between 1 and 100 so input tag equal to number the number input tag is used to entry is used to entry the numerical value given the range by using given the range or specified range means minimum value is equal to 1 and max equal to 100 the mean and max are the attributes the numerical value displays in between the 1 and 100 numerical values then use br tag means break the line Next is office phone number caller input tag equal to tel t e l means telephone number. This field shows that it defines the input tag fields contain telephone number. The name is the attribute is equal to phone and pattern is attribute. We have to specify here pattern attribute for to validate the user input to validate the user input by using the pattern attribute and required attribute are also used the required field it specifies the input field must be required means it cannot be empty so in telephone field here input field means telephone field must be must be added the telephone field must be required the user cannot empty that field then remaining program you will see the remaining program
we see the remaining program that is the add our home page. We have this great sentence add our home page. Then here we can use URL input tag. URL input tag. The URL means uniform resource locator and uniform resource locator and it is used to specify address on worldwide web. Here name equal to home page. The home page address we will do given in that program. The next is a input tag equal to image. The image is a new input tag. It defines an image as with a submit button. Here SRC and all. SRC and all are attributes of a image tag. Then SRC means path of an image. These are the path of image means address of that image. And next all alternate is the attribute of an image tag. Here we have to write the sentence click here to submit. Then next slide close contact close body tag and close HTML tag. I think I, I have clearly explained. Do you understand the input programs? Sorry. Uh, example of a input type elements by using attributes. Then the next point is meta tag. The next point is a meta tag. The meta tag is a tag in HTML documents that describes some aspects of contents of a web page. The HTML meta tag is used by search engines to search information that is provided with the web page. This is empty tag means it is a singular tag. The meta tag provides metadata about document. The metadata is a set of data. Metadata is a set of data that describes and gives that describes and giving gives information about other data. The meta tag are typically used to provide structured data such as documents, keywords, description, author name, character encoding, and other metadata. Meta tags can be placed inside the head section. Meta tag can be placed inside the head section of HTML document and Metadata will not be displayed on the web page. Metadata will not be displayed on the web page. Then next point is attribute of metadata. Metadata. The first is name. The value of the name attribute can be related to any of the following that is author, keyword, description. And 
Meta name equal to author Yes, the value of the name attribute can be related to any of the following like author, keyword, description and copyright. For example, metadata equal to author, it specifies the name of the metadata like author, keywords or a description. The meta name is equal to author, it specifies the name of a author. So we will be remaining part, remaining part of that chapter we will see in next lecture. Thank you.